gon' give it to ya Fuck way for you to get it on your own X gon' deliver to ya Yo, what's up, nerds? It's your favorite alpha male programmer. Today, I'm gonna be going over is graph bipartite. I actually already shot this video, but um, OBS came out really laggy for some reason, so I like have to completely redo it. I'm actually gonna do this in segments, so if it's like you notice know, skips, it's because I want to make sure it's not lagging before I waste my entire time. So let's jump right into it. Um, but first, subscribe to my channel and like this video now given an undirected graph return true if and only if it is bipartite recall that our graph is bipartite if we can split its set of nodes into two independent subsets a and b such that every edge in the graph has one node in a and another node in b so first thing we need to do is understand what bipartite means um a bit well first let's draw it out so how are graphs if they give us this i have this written down on the whiteboard if they give us this as a graph representation um let's convert it to a visual representation of the graph so this is the zeroth index this is the first index second index and third index um my ipad's lagging unfortunately so for the zeroth index <laughs> um it's saying it's connected to one and three so let's go ahead and draw the zero and let's go ahead and connect it to one and three. There we go. And then for the first index, it's connected to zero and two. Um, I don't know why this is lagging so bad. I'm gonna close this, try again. Okay. It's still a little laggy, whatever. So it's connected to zero and two. So let's go ahead and one is connected, is already connected to zero. So let's just go ahead and connect it to two. I'm gonna put this closer to my mouth. And then two is connected to one and three. So we already have two connected to one. Let's just connect it to three. And then three is connected to zero and two, which we already have. So this is how you represent a graph. This is how we create the graph. So now how would we go about so, well, first let's go over what is bipartite. So bipartite is saying it just wants to split it into sets of nodes where there, each set is um, not connected to any of the nodes in the same set. So basically, an easy way that this is represented is via color. So if we color zero as red, um, zero should not be connected to any other nodes that are red. And same for all the nodes that are red. So um, let's color the nodes that are connected to zero a different color. So let's go ahead and do like yellow, orange. So let's color one and three. It's so laggy. I'm sorry, guys. And then, <clears throat> so let's color the ones that connected to one and three red. And if red doesn't touch red at all and orange doesn't touch orange at all, then this is bipartite, in which case this is true. So that's how we do this problem for, man. Sorry, OBS just looked like it was really laggy, so I stopped and checked, but it wasn't. So that's how we represent this problem as a graph. Now, how are we going to solve this problem? So we're going to want to keep track of the nodes that we visited, and we're going to want to keep track of colors. Um, since we're only using two colors, we can use a Boolean array. So if we just do like Boolean uh, color and then Boolean visited, and we're just going to want to loop through this graph um so one at it we're going to want to check all the nodes and then when we're in a node say we're in the zeroth index we're going to want to check all its neighbors color them accordingly set them to visited and we're just going to do this so basically what we're doing is uh, a bfs approach because we're checking all the nodes first in zero so we're basically like starting here and then we're going to check out here and here the ones that are connected we're not doing dfs i guess dfs it would be if you go like like that so um since we're doing bfs we're going to need a data structure i'm just going to use a queue so bfs or obs looks so laggy when i look over i hope it's not i'm going to use a queue so let's just go ahead and jump into the code my computer's just laggy i'm just going to restart my computer i'll be right back guys all right what's up nerd sorry for the interruption again um video came out super laggy so i have to redo the coding part again um i don't know what's wrong with obs so hopefully that fixed it i think google chrome was just like hammering away 
CPU usage. So anyways, um, yeah, so I said we're going to do BFS and data structure. So let's go ahead and create Boolean uh, visited equals new Boolean 100 and Boolean uh, for color equals new Boolean 100. And where did I get the size of 100 from? Um, it's in the constraints right here. Graph length is never going to be greater than 100. So it's not going to have more than... Um, 100 of these. So this is one, two, three, four. It's not going to have more than 100. And let's go ahead and create our queue of integers. And it's a linked list interface. So new linked list. And you could use a different data structure. I'm just using a queue um, because I'm just going to pull it off the top, the, the node that I'm interested in. So then let's go ahead, loop through the graph. So we're going to do graph dot length um, we're not doing graph i dot length that is for all the neighbors we're doing graph of length that's saying how many um rows it is i guess yeah it is rows it's basically a 2d matrix so um if graph of i so if there are no neighbors in the node that we're visiting so if it equals zero um or uh visited of i we've already visited it then we just want to continue go to the next iteration of the for loop and now here's where the good stuff comes we're going to want to add i to the queue um, set it equal to true and color of i equals obs still looks laggy true and i keep pushing my ipad Okay, so now we're going to loop through the queue. Dot is empty. Okay, so now we're seeing while the queue, we're basically looping through all the nodes that we add into the queue. And um, the first thing we want to do is grab the node from the queue. So queue.pull, it's going to be an integer. And we're just going to want to loop through that node's neighbors. So for integer neighbor in graph of node. And so if um, visited, if we haven't visited the neighbor, then we're going to want to do a few things to this. So what are we going to want to do? Well, first, we're going to want to add it to the queue. Remember, this is a DFS problem or... Um, Okay, add the neighbor and then visited of neighbor equals true um, and color of the neighbor equals true. Um, so that's it for if we have, or no, this is if we have not visited neighbor. Good thing I caught that. Else, if we have visited the neighbor, then we want to check if visited or no not visited the color of the neighbor is different um equals color of node and if they're the same then they're not bipartite so we return false and that's basically the whole problem if we get through all of that we've looped through all the vertices and edges and we can return true so let's go ahead and run this and we got wrong. So what did I do wrong? It visited neighbor graph node or queue is not empty. Y equals true. So if color neighbor. Oh, um, yeah, duh. Equals the color, the opposite of the color of node. So um, I think all these interruptions with OBS and stuff is throwing me off if you guys know how to fix obs when it's laggy let me know i don't know what's going on it's actually why i haven't been shooting videos as much so this works um i had a better run time before 12 6 i think the memory's messed up i don't know why so let's go over the runtime runtime is o of v plus e i just said that because we're visiting all the vertices and all the edges um so in the queue, we're going to add zero. I mean, you should just do this, represent this real quick. I don't know where. 
we're going to add zero and then we're going to pop it off and we're going to visit one but we're going to add one neighbors so we're going to pop one off add zero go back to zero um, and finish it off so we're going to go three and then pop that off with a zero because right here that's basically how this problem is going to work so like i said we're visiting the vertices which are these and then the edges are its neighbors basically um, so that's why the runtime is o, um, o v plus e and the space complexity we're using a q to store um, yeah. it's actually not going to store any more than uh, vertices at any one point it's actually